स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू विटू ई शिक्षण प्रोग्राम दि सब्जेक्ट नेम इज द डिजाइन ऑफ आर सी सी एंड स्टील स्ट्रक्चर्स इन दट प्लेट गर्डर मै सेल्फ डॉक्टर नवीन जी एम एड दि रिसर्च सेंटर गवर्मेंट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज चामराज नगर इन दट इन युअर प्रीवियस सेशन वी आर नोन हाउ the plate guider will be designed up to the web checks in that regard the flange width and depth and web thickness and depth will be fixing for necessity stiffener spacing will be discussed in your previous session today we discuss about this session that is uh, continuation of that in that qb is equal to that is the shear stress will be calculated by using this relation that is q c r critical that is y b of 2 times of a by d plus root of 1 plus a by d whole square in that q c r we are getting 123. Five seven, then eight point four eight. That is of two times of that is one point one nine root of one plus one point one nine square. You substituting these values. That is one twenty three point five seven. This is eight point four eight. That gives one twenty four newton per mm square. This is Shear at base, shear at base represented Q B. Since Q B is greater than F V, that is Q B one forty one twenty four. This is Q B is eighty four point nine four. F V is equal to eighty four point nine four. Normally, we are getting in previous slide. Then panel AB is safe against the shear buckling. This shear buckling, the end panel AB is also safe. Then coming to the next, check for a web panel. In that end panel AB should also be checked as a beam that is spanning between the flanges of the girder and Is capability of resisting a shear force or FT or TF, and the moment MTF due to anchorage force, due to anchorage force, this MTF and or TF that is shear force will be calculated. In the following calculation, the boundary. Stiffeners are omitted for simplicity. For simplicity of your calculation, the boundary stiffeners is omitted because if you are adding this boundary stiffener, the calculation of this will goes increases. Therefore, we are neglecting or omitting this boundary stiffeners for simplicity. Then check for shear capacity of the end panel. Then H Q is equal to that is this is the relation point seven five T T that is P Y of one minus Q C R by point six P Y of root of one by two that is point five. All into F V minus Q C R by Q P minus Q C R. This is critical. This is base shear. This is critical shear. This F V is equal to that value is sixty-eight point five. It comes. Then this H Q is calculated by substituting D T that is depth of Web 
and thickness of web and py value that is 217.4 and also qcr q critical value and to calculate this py that is 250 divided by 1.5 gives 217.4 here then fv that is 68.5 minus 123.57 as a critical shear then this qp that is qp is equal to 78 in your getting in your previous slide qcb okay then this point 6 to the this base then qcr is equal to 123.57 this is how we are calculating the value and substituting respective value in this part. We are getting 2027, uh, 2023 kilo Newton as a capital HQ. Then how to calculate R RTF that is shear that is uh, in terms of tension field is there means the tension action is taken into consider means capital H Q by 2 that is 2023 divided by 2 this is half of this gives 1011 kilo Newton okay then coming to the next check for moment capacity of end panel how much moment will be carrying by this end panel how to check this means using this relation okay using this relation for using this relation we require necessity parameters that is av that is av is equal to t of a that is 14 into 1667 that is this value we are getting then pv that is 0.6 P Y W A V. You substituting this value that is 250 into 1.15 and into 2333 3.38. This value is substituting gear divided by 1000 gives this value 5478 kilo newton. This is P V value, this is A V value. Then since RTF is smaller than PV. You look after RTF 1011 here 5478. It is RTF is smaller than PV. The end panel can carry a shear force. From this, we know shear force is carried by the end panel. Then check for a moment capacity of an end panel. How to check this uh, moment carrying capacity of the end panel means this is MTF is equal to capital HQD divided by 10. HQ is calculated by this how much that went 2021. You substitute 2021 here D how much 1400 divided by 10 that all into 10 raised to minus 3 gives this value. 283.2 kilo newton per meter moment will comes that is at the flange then respect to y the distance that is a divided by 2 that is the spacing 1667 divided by 2 that is the distance of neutral axis that is y value that is 833.4 then Capital I that is moment of inertia 1 by 12 into T A square A to the power of 3. This is the relation we are calculating that is normally what is I is equal to P D Q by 12 for rectangular section. Same thing will be used here only difference is T and A will be taken here. Thickness into area is taken cube divided by 12 like this look like this one lay okay 
you substitute 1 by 12 into t how much 14 into spacing 1667 cube gives what is the value of this value 5 40 into 10 raise to 7 mm to the power of 4. Then m q will calculate it normally same stress bending stress equation i y by p y in that i y by p y we substituting stress in p y sigma is substituted by p y same as remaining bending stress this is 514 to 7 this i value what we obtain in i value then y is equal to 1500 then into 250 divided by 1.1 that is p value p y value into 10 raise to minus 6 gives 140 a kilo newton meter 1408 kilo newton meter moment will be come this value is smaller than that is greater than this value that is 283.3 what we getting 283.2 is smaller than this value 1408 kilo newton therefore the end panel carries a bending moment also okay we are providing end panel is also carries a bending moment sufficiently this is the necessity checks we are taken for designing a end panel then coming to the design of stiffness this is very important we in this place girder it plays a key role the design of stiffness in that load bearing stiffness at a in that figure shows the a b c d we are taken a load bearing stiffness at the support okay at the support only at a then design should be made for compression force due to bending bearing and moment due to bearing and moment the design force due to bearing that is f b that is you are taken 166 5 kilo newton design force bearing will be taken 166 5 kilo newton that is it is comes in a load calculation in a previous slide then force f m due to moment that is mtf is that is fm is equal to mtf divided by that is spacing that is 1667 this is the mtf that is 283.2 that is lower value you are taken from this we are lower value is taken that is 283.2 how much we are getting 170 kilo newton that is fm that is force due to moment that is uh, we are getting force 170 kilo newton then total compress compression is equal to that is fc is equal to fv plus fm that is what is fm here this is fm what is fp that is here this plus this gives 1665 plus 170 gives 1834.9 kilo newton this is the total compression force acting on a plate guider or uh, to design a stiffener the area of stiffener is contact with the flange a that is at the end that is a is area should be greater than area should be greater than this relation what is this relation 0.8 f e divided by p y e then point at this value that is f e that is p y in p y w this is the 250 divided by 1.15 gives this value into 10 raise to 3 gives 6752.16 mm to the power of 4 then try stiffener of two flat of size we are using flat of size 155 into 25 mm thick then allow 50 mm to go for a web 
by flange weld. 50 mm is scope for a web or flange weld. Weld the area how this area will become 140, 140 into 25 mm thick into 2 times use 7000 mm square. This 7000 mm square is greater than 675216. We we'll look after this two value. Bearing check is also okay. Okay, the bearing capacity carrying by the end panel A is also okay. In this consult, area will be 7000. Here, area will be 6752.16. Therefore, you go for next check for outstanding. How the check will be for outstanding? The outstanding from face of web should not be greater than 20 TS epsilon. In that first we calculate epsilon, how much that epsilon? That is 250 divided by Fy that is all into 1 by 2. That is Fy 250 divided by 250 that gives 1. 1 rise to 0.5 gives 1 itself. Okay. The epsilon value will be substitute 1 here. Before going to that, outstanding BS that is bearing 155 mm is greater than, uh, smaller than 120 TSW. 20 into 25 into 1 gives 500. That value is 500. 155 is smaller than 500. Here BS is equal to 155. Here we are getting 13.7 TS FY. Here you substitute TS and epsilon. Here we are getting 342.5. This BS also lesser than 500. Hence, critical out outstanding is satisfied. The critical outstanding is also satisfied. Therefore, we are using the thickness of the Stiffener will be also good. Good. Then coming to the next step, check stiffener for buckling. That is, uh, slender suction is used of stiffeners. Therefore, we need to check for buckling. The effective stiffener section is shown in figure. This is for end bearing. We have taken end bearing is the critical section. Therefore, we go for bearing stiffener. In that, this is the stiffener we are using both sides here 25 mm, here that is 14 mm. Okay, this along this 14 mm, this along 25 mm. Then BS, this value 125, 155, this is lower value will be used. This is one outstanding BS is. 155 mm is used normally. This value is 155 mm, 155 mm stiffeners are used. This is the center line of the stiffener. Okay, here we are providing web 14, here flange 25. Okay, stiffener will be 25 mm thick, here web is 14 mm thick. This need to check for buckling. Then the buckling resistance due to web is neglected here for sake of simplicity. We can buckling resistance due to web. Web is neglected only check for stiffener. Therefore, Ixx is equal to, you see this both uh, web bind stiffeners are there. We are checking for only stiffener. We neglecting the web for simplicity. Then Ixx is equal to 25 into 334, that is 334 to the power of 3 divided by 12 gives the gives this value that is minus of 1 by 12 into 25 into 14 cube. That gives 7761.8 10 raised to 4 mm to the power of 4. Ae, that is effective area. 
that is how to calculate effective area means 155 that is bearing area and 25 into 2 times that is gives 7750 that is 125 you see this 155 155 into 25 thickness of web is 25 then coming to the this uh, two times we are taken air stiffener 17750 mm square then r x is equal to i x x divided by a e all to the power of 0.5 in respect to that you substitute that i x value that is here this value is there then a e is equal to 7750 this one then get 99.78 mm that is rx 99.7 then flange is resist restrain against rotation in the panel of stiffener then the value will be that is ie is equal to 0.7 into 1 that is this is l this is 0.7 into d that is not 1 this is d that the uh, depth we are multiplying this we are getting 980 mm then lambda is equal to le by rx that is 980 divided by 98.21 gives 9.97 therefore for f y is equal to 250 newton per mm square and lambda is equal to 9.97 this sigma c this is 250 newton per mm square the buckling resistance of stiffener is P C is equal to sigma C A E divided by gamma M nu M. Okay, nu M. In that 250 divided by 1.11, that is 250 means this bending stress. Okay, A is equal to this is the area in your previous slide we are getting 770 then nu is equal to 1.4 material factor of safety 10 raised to minus 3 get this value 1684.85 kilo newton since fc is smaller than pc that is you see this one pc is greater than fc this value okay 1684.85 smaller than 1739.2 the stiffener provided safe against buckling therefore the stiffener provided is safe against the buckling fc is smaller than pc then coming to the check stiffener a as a bearing stiffener okay the stiffener a is checked for a bearing stiffener then local capacity of the web how the local capacity of the web is taken that is b1 is equal to that is 0 then n is equal to 2.5 into 66 into 2 that is 330 according to in bureau of standards 5050.1 clause 4.5.3 gives this relation P Crips pre Crips equal to B1 plus N2 of T of PYW. Here B1 is equal to you have taken 0, 330 into 14 that is equal to 0, then 250 divided by 1.15 into 10 raised to minus gives 100. 4.3 kilo newton nearly 1000 kilo newton the bearing stiffener is designed for fa the bearing stiffener is designed for fa what is fa that is fa is equal to fc minus f crib already known about fc fp crib you substitute this value fc value and p Trip value that gives 680.5 kilo newton. That value uh, bearing stiffener is designed for a FC. 
then coming to the bearing capacity of stiffener alone if bearing capacity alone in that condition pa is equal to pyw into a this is the relation by using this relation substituting that values respective value that gives 1684.8 kilo newton then since fa is smaller than or equal to pa then you check for the 680.5 fa is smaller than 1684.8 this is pa hence the de the design stiffener is okay for bearing also for bearing also the design of stiffener will be okay therefore the stiffener a adopt two flat 155 mm into 25 mm thick okay we are providing stiffener a as uh, 155 mm into 25 mm two flats this is okay then coming to design of intermediate stiffener that is b okay in your problem this is only check for intermediate stiffener but panel a b is safer means definitely the intermediate stiffener also safe if you are providing same section same section but you are adapting different section means this will be check needed for check the design therefore the stiffener at b is the most critical intermediate stiffener hence it will be choose for a design that in your previous slide we are showing a b c d in that a is the critical b is the another critical a b is panel in that we are taking intermediate as b then minimum stiffeners that is i s is equal to this relation that is 0.7 d into t to the power of q for a cube d root of 2 okay if is is equal to 1.5 d t to the power of 3 a cube for a is smaller than or equal to d into root 2 then d by 2 is equal to root 2 into 1400 that gives 1979 here a is smaller than or equal to d by root 2 that is a how much value that is spacing of stiffener 1667 is smaller than 1979 value this is 1667 is smaller than 1979 therefore 1 1.5 you see this one 1 point this relation is used 1.5 d square t square divided by a square this relation is used here you substituting this value okay here t d value then 1.5 into 1400 into 14 cube divided by 1667 square that gives 406 into 10 raised to 4 mm to the power of 4 okay this value we are getting then conservatively is taken as actual web thickness and minimum a is used how the minimum a value will be taken try intermediate stiffener of 2 flat 90 mm into 12 mm in that condition we are taken 155 mm but end panel we are taking 155 here we are trying for 90 mm as a intermediate stiffener then is provided is equal to 8 into 10 raised to 194 cube divided by 12 that is minus of 8 into 14 cube divided by 12 that is big bd cube by minus small bd cube get this value 486.5 into 10 raised to 4 mm to the power of 4 this section provided satisfy the minimum requirements okay minimum requirement therefore go for next check check for outstanding that is check for outstanding stiffener smaller than or equal to 13.7 ts epsilon in that ts epsilon you substituting that value that is 13.7 14 into 1 
gives 192 mm. Then outstanding that is 90 mm, that is 90 is smaller than 192. 90 is smaller than 192. Hence, outstanding critical is satisfied. This is how we can check the outstanding. Then coming to the buckling check for intermediate stiffener. In that stiffener force FQ is equal to V minus Vs. V is equal to total shear, Vs is equal to critical, critical shear stress at web. Then critical elastic critical stress QC is equal to 123.57 Newton mm square. Then QC, QCR is equal to QCR dt that is 123.57 into 1400 into 14 into 10 raise to minus 3. That value gives 2421.9 kilo Newton. Then shear force at B that is VP is equal to how to calculate this one 1665 that is V we are getting in a load calculation then 1665 minus 1265 then spacing 1667 by 5000 gives this value. Substituting gives this value. Then stiffener force Q, FQ is equal to, how much that value? 2, this minus this. This minus this gives 89.26 kilo Newton as a FQ value. Then this is buckling resistance of intermediate stiffener at B. We are using 90, you see this 1990, this 8 mm thick here, web is 14, this is web, this is 8 mm, this is 1990, this is 20 TW, 20 TW. In that effective section is shown in a figure 5, come to check for that one, then 20 TW is equal to how much, that is 20 into 40, 280 mm, then coming to IXX, that is 1 by 12 into 8 into 194.194 cube plus 560 into 14 into 10 raised to cube divided by 12 minus 8 into 14 cube divided by 8. Okay, like that we can substituting IXX value, we are getting 499 into 10 raised to 4 mm to the power of cube. Then Area will be calculated 180 into 90 into 92 flat. We are providing 180 into 8 plus this is 560 into 14. Okay, 560 into 14. That gives 9280 mm square. This is the area. This is the moment of inertia against the xx. Then x r value r x value will be what is that one? I into A. Root of I into A R all to the power of 0.5. I by A gives this 23.18. This divided by this value gives all to the power of 0.5 gives this value 23.18. Then I E is equal to 0 0.7 1400 is equal to 980. Okay. Then lambda is equal to L by R E that gives 40. 2.27. Then for Fy is equal to 250 Newton per mm square and lambda is equal to 42.2, 42.27. This is the value we are getting. Then coming to the next from table 3 of chapter on ag axial compression column, tau C is taken as 280 Newton per mm. Then buckling resistance will be calculated tau C by 1.18 into 1000 that will be converted into kilo Newton. We are using 10 raise to minus 3, 1895 kilo Newton. This 189 kilo Newton is smaller than 369.5 that is FQ. Okay. In that ends intermediate stiffener is adequate that is this value is greater than 
69.5 therefore intermediate stiffener is adequate therefore we adopting intermediate stiffener at b of two flats of 19 mm into 8 mm thick the intermediate stiffener at d a b c d stiffener subjected to external load it is very important we can use intermediate stiffeners try intermediate stiffener two flats of 19 mm into 8 mm thick why because in this the satisfy the minimum stiffness required as in case of stiffener b okay we are stiffener will be that is buckle buckling check we are using this relation okay this is in your is 800 then fq is equal to v minus vs that gives v is equal to shear 1 to 65 kilo newton in load calculation vs is equal to vcr is equal to qcr into dt that qcr into d into t that gives 2421 kilo newton that uh, we are substituting qc qcr dt and t value that gives 2421 kilo newton then fq is neglected and so we can take fq minus fx is equal to 0 then mq is equal to 0 then fx is equal to how much we are getting that is 870 kilo newton that is fx we are equal to 870 kilo newton we are getting then coming to the check for buckling resistance of load carrying capacity of stiffener d the calculation is similar to the stiffener b okay the stiffener d and stiffener b calculation is same then buckling resistance p p into x that is the p y that value p x is equal to along x then 218.218.1.18 into 1000 into international minus 3 gives 1895 kilo newton 1895 kilo newton f x divided by p x gives this relation substituting f x and p x gives 0.45 is smaller than 1 hence stiffener d is okay against the buckling we can say the value is lesser than 1 therefore the stiffener d is okay for buckling that is what is the dimension that is 90 mm then adopt d stiffener as a flat 90 mm into 8 mm thick okay 8 90 into 8 mm thick there 155 mm thick will be adapted for end panel here intermediate panel and end panel will be taken that is 90 into 8 mm thick then go for web check between stiffness that is f c d smaller than or equal to p e d in that p d we are checked for FCD is equal to W1 in divided by T that is W1 is equal to that UDL the UDL load we are getting 79.5 divided by 14 mm thick gives 5.7 Newton per mm square when the compression plunge is restrained against rotation relative to the web in that PCD is equal to what is the value 2.75 plus 2 divided by A divided by D whole square E divided by D by T whole square. You substituting respect to value 2.75 plus 2 divided by 1.667 divided by 1400 of whole square into E value here you taken E value. 2 into 10 raised to 5, 2 into 10 raised to 5 divided by d by t, d is equal to 1400 divided by t is 14 all to the power of square, square equal to 83.24 Newton per mm square, 83.24 
न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर सिंस एफ सी डी एफ सी डी स्मॉलर देन पी डी सी डी देर फोर दिस इज द वैल्यू दट इज एफ सी डी इज इक्वल टू फाइव पॉइंट सेवन एफ सी डी इज इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट थ्री एटी थ्री पॉइंट टू फोर इट इज स्मॉलर देन दिस वैल्यू द वेब द वेब इज ओके फॉर ऑल पेनल द वेब इज ओके फॉर ऑल पेनल देर फोर द इंटरमीडिएट वेब चेक इज ऑल्सो वर्ल्ड कोड फॉर दिस स्टिपनर देन finally the girder in all in dimension in mm we look like this that will uh, the spacing of this girder is 1667 that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that we are providing a space uh, stiffeners this is end panel this is intermediate uh, load bearing panel this is intermediate panels we are providing stiffeners at this distance 1667 a b c d e f like that we are providing similarly for that span symmetrical span then longitudinal this is we call it as longitudinal section of a plate girder and dimension of plate girder that is thickness overall 1400 this is 40 this is 60 this is 420 we are trying for 420 by 66 and also 14 by 1400 the thickness of plans we observe this greater 66 mm we cannot imagine this 66 mm thick plates uh, that is here the web thickness will be 1400 okay that is the plans and web portion of your final plate girder there is final plate girder for this how the connections will be done in your next slide we are uh, discuss about uh, how the welding of this uh, plate girder will be done and also some bolted connections will be done for this well uh, this uh, plate girder then welded connection between web and flange how the web and flange will be welded shear at web flange junction in that v is equal to that is 1665 into 10 raised to 6 that is we are taken a shear maximum shear as 1665 into 10 raised to 3 then ay is equal to 420 into 66 this is area of web 700 plus 33 That gives A Y is equal to much twenty point three two into ten raised to six. Then I value is equal to that is moment of inertia for that session. You see this session. Okay, you take that one two three. We are making two times of four twenty into sixty six into seven thirty three square plus four twenty into sixty six cube divided by twelve. that is how this uh, area will be calculated means that is i is equal to bd cube by 12 okay bd cube by 12 in that uh, bd cube by 12 for session for this session and this session you can taken here two times you are taken two times for plan section this plan session this is one this is one for web only one is there okay therefore we are taking two year okay the uh, bd cube by 12 for both uh, i session symmetrical i session we can simply find out by bd cube by 12 in that this is cube i think uh, okay 1.49 into 10 raised to 10 we are coming then we are uh, shear we can check for this value you substituting v ay by i value shear stress how much we are getting 1331135.33 1, then coming to equating this with that uh, 261.1 times s okay 161.1 yes therefore the s value will be coming 
that is 4.25 the s value will be 4.28 then the minimum size of weld for 66 mm plate that is 8 mm you check in your is code and our steel table the minimum 66 mm plate means we required 8 mm thickness of weld length of 8 mm weld per meter that is how much we required up to 535 mm that is 4.28 that is L s value into 1000 divided by 8 mm we are getting 535 mm then say we are providing 550 mm therefore provide 5 welds of 110 mm that is 110 mm with gap of 112.5 mm as shown in a figure 1 in next slide then welded joint for bearing stiffener the welded for welded joint for bearing stiffener that is web slenderness z is equal to 2.5 d by t this is the relation we are using then here we substituted d and t value we are getting 250 then fcd is equal to 26.6 fcd then going to check the breadth of web that is b into n1 uh, n1 then n1 is taken as a d by 2 say that is b is equal to 100 okay d by 2 1766 we are getting 866 then web capacity will be calculated this web into 14 into 26.6 that is s value then we are getting 322.5 kilo newton then load taken by weld is equal to total shear minus web capacity that is uh, web capacity 1665 minus 3225.5 that gives 1342.5 kilo newton then considering four line of welding load per line that is uh, 1342.5 divided by 4 gives how many kilo newton that is uh, 335 kilo newton this will be equating to 0.9 times that is 130 1335 into 1000 1400 into 265.5 in that use 6 mm intermediate welding that length should be we substituting that length 0.9 thousand divided by 6 means 150 mm therefore provide three welds of 80 mm length and 6 mm size as shown in figure 2 in next slide these are the some references we are go referring to taken this uh, references for my preparation go through it thank you